Welcome back. So today we're going to be getting into the purple hive. Let's see if that queen survived and whether they superseded her. Let's get into it. If you'd like to support our channel, the link is in the description of this video. We've got hats, tees, and other merch. Let's get back to the action. So here we are, the purple hive. Let's see if that queen survived or if they've created another cell. So we've got nectar on that frame. Now it's been about nine days since I last came down here. So it shouldn't be too hard to work out if she's still in there and laying. We would have eggs. So we're just gonna go frame by frame. Nectar. That brood's nice, isn't it? It'd be really disappointing if she was gone. So there's a queen cell, but I think I've knocked it with the other frame. And there's an egg in there too. So that's a new egg. Look at that. So I probably should have made this a uh, an eight frame. Uh, that nine frame. That that ninth frame has murdered them. So no more squashing of queen cells in this hive until we know what's going on. Let's have a look on the other side. There are eggs on those. There are eggs in those other cells. So she's still laying. I'll show you those eggs. I can't imagine why you'd want to supersedure a queen that's in good nick like that. But, so another great frame of brood. So there's a queen cell, clean cup. And there's another one. That's a swarm cell, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? So I'm gonna tip this frame over, but I'm gonna make sure I don't squash that one. I'm gonna put it in the gap. And that cup is charged. So I would call that a swarm cell. I would call the other one a swarm cell. These bees aren't too bad, are they? Now I've brought down a heap of nukes, but I can't make a split. There's another one there. So based on the fact that they've got eggs, It's not, uh, she's still laying, so she's obviously recovered. She's obviously recovered from that little uh, incident. You know, that's, there's, there's this comb, this comb here is a bit skew-if. So although that looks like a supersedure cell, you can see how there's a dip in the comb. I think that's a swarm cell. There's no eggs in there. But this has been laid out.
So I'm confused. That's laid out through the bottom there. So we've still got a queen. She's still laying. She isn't laying her butt off. So I, I'm uh, in two minds. She's got room to lay. We've got swarm cells. They might be supersedure cells. I don't want to lose half a hive to a swarm. They're not enormously strong. So if you've got a hive that's not enormously strong and has cells in it, it's not a swarm cell, is it? So based on the fact that that queen was very unwell last time, and based on the fact that they've got plenty of room and they're still creating queen cells, I'm going to leave them alone. And I'm going to take out one frame, which I think is going to be this outside frame that's got some stuff in it. Let me just check this frame. That's an empty frame. So I'm going to take that frame out and I'm going to put that other frame back in because that other frame's got stores on it. And this will be now an eight frame box, you know, removing that issue of having too many frames and breaking potential cells. So eight frames. We've got nectar. Hopefully they can sort it out. And that was the Purple Hive. Thanks for watching. If you like our videos, please subscribe, turn your notifications on. See you on the next one.